too busy setting up motion. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Anyways, welcome everybody to another episode of Tales of Fumbles and Fortunes here on Tales of Game Addiction, a show where we sit around and chat nonsense and I occasionally look over my shoulder to make sure the stream's working. Yes. And I find the stream's not working. Stream, why are you not working? God! Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I leave it for a day, just one day. Yes, I I do kind of love how <coughs> we we could change our names to technical issues. <laughs> yeah, tales of technical issues. I feel like it should be, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the Beyond, which we don't need have... right now. Do we have the, the, the tune of um, Tales of the Unexpected playing? Do, 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 do. <laughs> like, it literally, rhymes, if you... But OPS knows that the window is Discord. And it's anything <laughs> in Discord. But every yeah, time, and, uh, it just goes, No, nah, sorry, I can't find Discord. Why it's like... Uh, like, if we think about this... Uh, Brian would be tales of technical issues. I would be sort of technical issue. <laughs> and I would be depressed. I mean, what? Yeah. I mean... No. No, no, no. Well, I, mean, well I think we're all mad here. Yes, we are, are all mad here. It's not a competition. But no, I, I, I think more accurately the... My thing would be tales of why the Ephesus is not working. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel like I actually it... I could do a whole YouTube channel just on that, of like being given random stuff and being told it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised that my camera's stolen, so I'm just going to hide that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I just wanted to show you guys the cool T-shirt. Not yeah. the wider public. They get they they have they have to ask for that. I uh, know. You see, they didn't see the T-shirt bit. I know, yeah, but, but I don't want yeah. to your face. They know what you look like now. I mean, I look like my icon. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Like actually, you're bigger beard at the moment. Yeah, but actually, yeah, it actually. Uh, now that I saw your face, now you actually do. I actually do see the resemblance. I, I feel like I'm somewhat obliged to both explain it and shout out to the person who did the drawing. If mm -hmm. that's okay. No, that's. Fine by me, I just gotta say one thing first. And then I saw your face. And now I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You were like so, so oddly enough, the story behind it also involves D D. Um so for sort of a candle nights thing. So if you're not familiar with candle nights, it's something I think the like Echelroy's set up. And it's just sort of like here is just daft sort of Christmas but not really Christmas holiday official song of the official musician of this holiday is Jimmy Buffett which makes my world better because Jimmy Buffett is most people think Jimmy Buffett is trash I love him dearly um but a friend my friend ran a one shot where we all played sort of D&D -D versions of ourselves and now to shout out the artist Commissioned um, Grave Dog <coughs> to G's. Um, I don't have any of the details on me because I wasn't expecting this. Uh, to, uh, to just draw us based on some reference pictures. At some point, I might actually get that character sheet out. It's very good. I'll tell you one thing though. It, I had an axe gun. An axe gun. And guess what the axe gun was called? Boomstick. Axe you a question? Axe caliber. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, uh, it, it, it starts early. What caliber does this gun take? Well, it's an axe caliber. <laughs> yeah, we cannot. Uh, we uh, we haven't even gotten into the campaign yet. For tonight, oh. and uh, our DM has already face bomb. That's just one yeah, pun from that character bad. sheet. Well, that is true. I, 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 I'm happy that that's my brand. My brand is I make Brian smash himself in the face in despair. 
Yes. Look, let's face it, if I had a proper studio and everything, the desk would be much closer to my face and I could just keep smacking my face into it. Surely it'd be less less effort to just have a button so the desk comes to you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I've got a solid wall right here. I could just put a big plaque here that says smack head until I feel better. Just like a little bit of a pad, not to protect you, but to protect the wall. Yeah. Yeah, and also, also like if you would have, like think about it. If you would have it as like you know a hydraulic a hydraulic system, that every time you needed to like bang your face to the pad on a wall, it would just come closer, and you could be just like. <laughs> oh. Right, so we're playing D and D, right? Yeah, we are. We are yes. playing some D and D side. So last time, this merry band of misfits had uh, spent the night in the capital, Dragonborn city of Berylanium, with Das having spotted in the morning his ship coming into dock. Over the course of the day, you had kept an eye on the vessel, worked out a plan to distract the guards. Yeah. And I even sent a message on Discord. And I can't look at it because Discord is being shown on the stream. Dang it! <laughs> look on your it, phone. Don't worry, it know. was just me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I will aware, but I have to look at the message, otherwise the message never goes away. That do you have Discord on your phone if you want to be sneaky about it? I, I do have Discord yeah. on my phone. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, you found a way of distracting the guards which involved... Um, Epa and Rex <laughs> having a quote-unquote argument. <laughs> yes! Which may have escalated into Epa firing his gun in the middle of a public place. <coughs> did indeed do as intended. It distracted the guards. <laughs> Those who were hanging back were a bit more observant, though, had noticed a couple of uh, sneaky, stabby people sneak on board the boat and start taking care of the guys that were on the boat. By the time you guys had made your way across, some of you by walking, the others by leaping from rooftop onto the boat itself. Yes. You lucky sods. <laughs> <laughs> How you're not dead is a miracle unto science. It would be a miracle if uh, Rex would be dead. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> if you, the more mayhem you do, the more likely you'll survive it. Cobalt luck. <laughs> well, that basically isn't true if you are if we are talking about poisons. Uh oh, I have a story for that. <laughs> Stories later. Look, look, yeah. Uh but yeah, but you guys managed to then sneak onto the boat, you had a chat with the assassins who said that they were here looking for something and killing the captain was a bonus. Mm -hmm. To which no captain available because he had gone away to chat with some military folk. Upon returning, you guys snuck yourselves away into various crates and empty barrels. And that brings us to this point in time as the boat has begun to sail away. And on deck, you can hear Blight Bite giving commands to his crew of 10 men, just ordering them to raise anchor, lower the mainsail, and make ready back for the Lilith's Moor. And so, boys and girls, I present to you the map Hooray. of the Big Claw. Sadly missing its signature piece of the Big Claw. How mm -hmm. dare Light Bite like, take out the Big Claw that is supposed to make the ship the Big Claw? How dare he? He will die. Well, all I'll say is, I, there, there is various things scattered across the ship. For con for context and all this, um, whilst yes, I have access to assets to build a ship, they are not available to me in dungeon draft. But I have them on roll okay. twenty. So as much as I want to like build a ship and fill it full of cut of you guys to explore, it would just kill anybody on a laptop. Uh. Mm, yes. So, so out of kindness to those on laptops, 
and low end PCs. Um, you'll have to deal with some PNGs of a boat. All I right. just assume there is clutter scattered around. I put you guys all in the lowest deck for simplicity's sake, but you guys are wherever you wish to be when you are hiding. So I'll let you guys oh, do that okay. first. You should have control of your tokens. Feel free to move yourselves to somewhere more appropriate. Right yeah, next thought... to the captain's cabin. Like, wherever mm. the captain's cabin may be. Uh, the do captain's cabin may be. I'll be in the barrel right Bob next would to know where, 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 where the captain's cabin is. Bob? 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 Does. Bob is, yeah, I was going to say, ancestor. I know Bob I know Bob is like his ancestor and all, but... <laughs> it's a council of one, not a council of the ancestors. Exactly, a council of one, there's a reason why it's a council of one. There then... is uh, only question that uh, what are here in the... in here, uh, in this deck? As possible hiding places. Um, like I said, there's like various boxes and crates all scattered about the place. I, I'm giving you guys a chance <coughs> to put yourself somewhere, and you're technically hiding. Okay. Yes, it's all a bit of a mess. They have not actually like cleared the deck. So for like where Das is, for example, there mm -hmm. there will there is technically a crate by the door because they haven't taken it below yet. Hmm. Das Actually. is outraged by the mess that they have caused on this ship. He will murder. Uh, Rex actually is going to be hiding mm, here. <laughs> And I'm going to stay below decks and see what I can scavenge to see if there's anything I can sort of fashion together. Might help us. All right, then. so uh, first of all, Tink, could Epa you be so is... kind and roll for me an investigation check, as you're the only one that will not be observed doing this? First roll of the night. What could possibly go wrong? Who is that? Uh, for you. Since you will not be spotted, Me. go ahead and make an investigation check. I get D and D and beyond. And once you get that ready, uh, what does anybody else want to do? Um, just for the record, Epu is stashed under those stairs, not on top of those stairs. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just, just, just for the record, because it's I am on a on a flight <laughs> of stairs on the map. Yeah, no, no, again. There are um, great and small things scattered about the place anyway, so you could like even like build a, like almost like a box fort around his <coughs> yeah. And uh Rex is going what Rex is going to do is he is going to wait patiently until either one of them in the top deck walk by his crate and uh, do like uh, Hitman style <laughs> I pull you in <laughs> And kill you there. <laughs> okay, Rex, going for the silent takedown. Yes. Excellent. I also just realised there's new music for the chat to enjoy. <gasps> <gasps> Scandal! Oh so oh. trying to load. Dare right. you. Loaded. Let's see. Uh -huh. Aha. Mm. Eleven. The same as last time. Eleven's obviously your favourite number on investigation checks. Mm -hmm. uh, right. They, they are most of <coughs> where we are and what we're doing. <coughs> Turn off shuffle because that makes no sense. Right. So with eleven, uh, is you... Poke, out, poke your head out and you see there's someone looking around looking at you, start going through all the various uh, boxes and stuff. Down at this deck there's not much here, this is mostly all their food and supplies. Dried jerkies, um, various apples, a lot of alcohol. <laughs> like right sort of around the main master is a lot of barrels all marked triple X. So we have a marked 4X. Part of me feels like I should take some. <laughs> 
<laughs> for later. I was going to say, on, on top of this pile of barrels, <laughs> there's like a small, tiny barrel that is like... You, you're trying to count and like you lose count because you end up sort of wrapping around the barrel. It's that many X's. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure that's not explosive? That it's rum? I think or that's alcohol the Yeah. <laughs> so alcohol Okay, that's well that's always an option. <laughs> to make some tinder <laughs> around the... I'll make the boat tinder. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, I swear. I was going to say, someone's the top deck. Yeah. That's just sitting there plotting and then suddenly like it's a chill that is fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's or, just like... Or I suppose hmm. use the rum to lure... Could always use the rum to try to lure some of them down. You know. Mm -hmm. See elf... Sexy blue elf woman. Could say that I'm a, a mirage and... And... You know. Or... Get some guys... Down the lower since, deck. Since away. you are, uh, <laughs> since you are from uh, a below the sea kind of person, um, what if you if you get caught? What if you say that you actually climbed on board, being that you need uh, you need uh, some uh, transport somewhere? What do you mean? I mean, like, uh, you could either A, try to uh, make them think that you need a transport somewhere on land, or B, second uh, option is that uh, you could uh, try to be, like, all sedu seductive <laughs> and stuff, and be like, Oh, hey, sailor. Do you need some companion? I came all the way from below the sea to provide some entertainment. Well, yeah, that's what oh, I Oh, God. It's like I can literally call yeah. from down the stairs, like, lure them. And yeah. Eppers, like, hidden underneath the stairs. Good prime opportunity for attack. <laughs> what, if, what if you use a rope? Like... You like have a tight rope that they trip on it because they are not looking at their feet when they're walking down the stairs. <laughs> uh, all, all these plans you have, but anyways, the, the ship sails on for a good few hours, un, unimpeded by anything. Those of you on the higher decks, specifically Aileen, since you have wild shaped yourself into a cat and you have your bird perched in the uh, top sail do you actually do see what looks like a sea serpent shape breach the waves and then coil up and then dive back down again as you start venturing further into this volcanic chain of islands there was once the land bridge that connected two of the major continents until as far as history can best put it a dragon through a temper tantrum and smash the whole thing. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm so proud of that dragon. <laughs> well, well, her name was Lilith, hence the name. <laughs> but anyway, as as you're sailing through, um, you can hear Bike Bite start yelling out more commands. Within the sails. Tighten the yard arm. And uh, Das, since you're the previous owner of this ship, yep, you're well aware of um, the way Blight is sailing this thing. Where you're going, it's very tight for the big claw to actually sail through. Oh. Yeah. Uh, like every so often you hear like a thud and you all feel the ship list, but Das is the only one that's like, oh, the paintwork. That's like, going to be costly. Oh, dry the, oh, the paintwork. Why did he have to scratch the paintwork? 
of all the things that he could have possibly scratched, he had to go and scratch that. Oh, why? I will murder him for this. But after another hour or so of <coughs> arduous journeys, you all feel the boat come to a halt as you hear the sounds of the two anchors blow on their heavy chains. And then Blight Blight begins to order the men to unload. The tower awaits. And I, I will say this for most of the aliens case, since you are the only one above deck right now. You you look out across and they have stopped on an island. The beach itself is still white sands, there is patches of long seagrass in places, but beyond it is black ashen um, sort of charred earth. Volcanic island? Hmm? Box next to the volcanic island? Yeah. But just um, within view, you can make out the ruins of an old tower and a small grove that surrounds it. As Blight Bite and his crew then begin to unload and you can hear the sound of rowboats sailing away. And eventually you guys are left alone on the ship. With no one else <laughs> uh, with no one else on the ship right now. Right now there is no one on the ship. Great. Okay. As soon as I feel that there is no one else on the ship. Yeah. Whoops. Das is... Hey, we're on the wrong layer. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> that layer. Back to the depths with you. Go on, my love. Ah, uh, the temptation to just hijack this ship and just leave them marooned is... Oh, why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least we wouldn't have to, like... I mean, on the one hand... No, on the one hand, I did have this speech planned out and and just to finally confront my, well, former bestest buddy old, buddy old pal sort of thing with the whole speech and things. But on the other hand, I mean, if I steal the ship, I mean, sure, they'll be marooned, but apparently they have some Imperial soldiers on their side, so we'll most likely be on the run. Yes. So, what do you think? Should we hijack the ship? Uh, yeah, should we hijack the ship and get out of here? I was just thinking that, that it's a perfect time that we can just uh, raise the anchor and uh, just uh, leave them here. All yeah, right, <laughs> but what are they doing on these islands? Well, it's clearly obvious that there is some treasure on these islands. Valuable, valuable treasure. But these are volcanic islands. Islands which may cause them instant death at any moment. Go, go ahead and make a nature check for me, folks. Ooh, that's fine. Mm, yeah. I actually have plus four in nature. Oh, Fifteen. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled bad. Oh my Fifteen. god. <laughs> Ever rolled less than a ten. How? Because well. I, I won one away from a natural. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 so it's not strictly speaking like there's little volcanoes that occasionally erupt. 
Das is going to still bullshit his way into, uh, like, say, yeah, you know, these lands are volcanic. They'll probably die in some lava flow or something. Yeah. Oh, then we have to go and figure and like chase them because if they have found a place to treasure and there's volcanoes, then well, the volcanoes will end up destroying whatever secret dungeon or temple or palace of the old gods that the treasure's hiding in. You know. At this point, I, I'm guessing at this point we've all sort of gathered on deck. Uh, I yeah, imagine I was so, yeah. I imagine yeah. you're poked out from your hidey holes. Cool. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, <sighs> and like, that's just all I think about this. Like, hmm, I mean, no, I mean, we could, I mean, we could spring at the perfect moment when they start getting more of the treasure, and then... And then, I suppose, somehow we denounce our arrival, and I go, HA HA! No, HA HA! How dare you! No, how dare you hurt my baby big claw, you big son of a barrel! For you shall, uh, you shall pay for all the destruction you caused to my baby! Actually, think like, about why? it for a second. Mm. Have we actually looked off the ship? It just actually turns to look at where we're moored. <laughs> Because <laughs> what the hell are they doing? So you guys are moored quite a ways off, probably about a hundred feet or so. It's shallow enough for the big hole to sit in, but if you went any further, she would technically be beached. Oh wow! <laughs> and Brian. there's no more rowing boats. There are no more rowing boats. They were okay. All. I mean, all taken. Are you guys just being greedy, wanting to know about the treasure. I want to know what the hell's going on, because let's be frank here. We still can't sail the ship on our own. <laughs> we are not a full crew. I don't know. I if, think if... I have absolute faith in us being a full crew and steering the ship on our own. Yeah, but if you take out... What's his name? Sorry. Well, if you take out what's his name? Blight Features? Yeah, Blight Features. Yeah, Blighty McBitey. Um, then, <laughs> then you can declare yourself captain, and then suddenly all of the, his crew becomes your crew, and they can sail us all home. Providing and they can, like, drink like martinis and rum. Providing that they actually want to work for me, because if they don't, well, they may as well be they may as well be marooned on the small with a single no. With a single tank of, well, with a single with bottle a single of rum. With a single cup of rum and a single bullet, yes. We, we've had this all before. <laughs> ah, good. I'm glad you're paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Eileen, you're a Vinegal. How far can it fly? Blondie? Yes. You have a new Pepper. Right? Yeah, he's you have a right? Sorry, a hawk. hawk. Sorry. Um, how far can it fly? Can it, like, go and see what's going on on land? See what they're up to? Or as we figure <laughs> out how the hell to get off this, this ship? Unless we wait for them to come back to the ship, and then we ambush them here. Booby trap the ship? Sorry? Booby trap the ship? I mean, that mm. works for when they come back, but let's, let's at least find out what they're doing. Well, I mean, we could always interrogate uh, the, the, the crew uh, after we get rid of old Blighty. I mean, even if it does involve a few thumb screws here and there. That involves rating. Rating? While we're waiting, we can do... Oh, wait. Um, um, we, we can set up the traps while we wait, and this beautiful, beautiful hawk, an episode <laughs> of just gestures, and tries to pat the hawk. A hawk will hiss at you. <laughs> Actually, can I roll animal handling to try that? He's a familiar. <laughs> I don't know if that makes a damn difference. 
I I say do it for the lols. Yeah, yeah. Do, it, do it for the lols, but I'm just trying to think of what. I hope you. Yeah. Do you know what? Have have the hawk roll an intimidation. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 my 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 mind saw that and I saw the natural one. <laughs> You yeah, know, he'll you, know, like, you know, like when you go to animal feeding things, and they tell you like, to hold your hands like this, not like this. Yeah. Like if there was like Steve Irwin on deck right now, there'd be like a silent scream of, "Nope, not like that." Yep. Ow, okay, ow, this is ow. off topic. Sorry. Oh no no go oh, ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, this is really off topic, but I seem to remember that there's a South Park episode, which was just after Steve Irwin had died, and, um, like, Satan has a has a cruise ship, and he's on the cruise ship with him. But anyway, so yeah. <laughs> That's what I was imagining, was the South Park version of Steve Irwin <gasps> on a boat. Anyway. He said if he so. was there right now on a boat. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, as much as it would pain me to do this, we shall booby trap the ship. And then, we shall find out what it is that old Blighty and his fellows are uh, doing on Lilith's Moor, and what sort of treasures they've encountered. And then, we attack. And I get vengeance on old Blighty once and for all. Well, I'd say you. You will have all vengeance on Blighty once and for all. The sound of a gunshot rings out. Oh, boy! And you look over to the beach where they've moored their rowing boat, and you can see that they are currently engaging some Sahuigan. <gasps> At this point in time. And right now, like, numbers favour Blight Bite and his crew, but they're not going to last long. What, what? As in, blight bite um, will lose and everything. It looks that way. See, this is what happens when blight. This is why blight bite should never have betrayed me because this sort of thing happens. Now, if it were me, I would have, I would have managed to successfully deal with those Suhuagun in my own wonderful ways, and uh, majority of the crew and I would still be alive! But no! This ship well, you cannon, are still right? alive, but, you know. Uh, do, does this ship have cannon? She has four. Four guns. To either side, I'm guessing? Yeah. Excellent! Oh no, I know what you guys are going to plan. I need to go look something up. Be right back! <laughs> <laughs> so, you want a crew, right? Yes. How do you get a crew? Well, normally by uh, normally by uh, uh, holding like normally by waving uh, a flag that's clearly not the Jolly Roger to uh, make make other ships uh, believe that uh, to put other ships in a false sense of security. And then once we get a little bit closer, we hoist the Jolly Roger, attack their ship, take everything that they possibly have on the ship, and then encourage the crew of said ship to join us or die. Well, not die, just be marooned on an island with a single bottle of rum and... Uh, okay, okay. With so essentially, <laughs> you give them a good motivation to work for well, you, right? Yeah, it, it's called marketing. You know, Ca promotion. Crew is in danger. We have cannons. We could shoot the Sahagwen. Rescue oh, no, the crew. Thinking... And, yeah, the, we, we can kill Blight by it. That's fine. We can just like, look, he used the gunner. He would have died if it wasn't for us. Bingo, bango, we have a crew. And then, mm. Blight by you can, we, you can hang Blight by Hmm. Or we, c or I could get vengeance on the crew who have still supported Blightbite and on Blightbite himself, and we recruit the Sahuigan as the crew. No. All right. Well, I mean, it's a diplomatic boat, so I mean, <laughs> either way. Either way. I just or, can't imagine 
Sir Hagrid on a boat, <laughs> and it doesn't. I don't can't see that ending well for anyone. That is true. <laughs> or, or we somehow managed to be the third party to bring to unite the Sahuagan and the crew together under my banner and then everyone will sing kumbaya and old pirate shanties and everyone will love us because we brought peace to both sides can you do that in the mm. next 10 minutes nope well do you actually know where the kumbaya comes from does uh to be <laughs> honest i have no idea but it's, we do have uh... cannons we do have cannons, but it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, people in the suffering part of the world. So I wouldn't use. Uh, I wouldn't uh, use Kumbaya in this case. Well, I'm sure I can come with a pirate shanty that uh, promotes peace, harmony, and all that flowery, lovey dovey, la di da. Anyways, so we well, have cannons. Well, well, <laughs> so we have cannons. Yes. That, that you do. I vote that we shoot the Saharquin. And Epper puts his hand up. <laughs> Anyone else have any objections or opinions or matching opinions? I mean. I'm here with you guys. I will go with the majority. <laughs> then it's decided. We shall shoot the Sahuagan, and and I will and I will person and I will personally reward some very valuable treasure for the one who gets blighty in the face. But if not, at least we can humiliate him a little further. Anyways, we shoot at the Sahuagan. The pirate crew will recognize me as their superior captain, having not led them to death. And then they shall turn on old Blighty. And then Blighty will be humiliated and cry in the puddle of his own tears and piss. And then... And <laughs> let's go load a gun. <laughs> and he just grabs Das and drags them to a cannon. <laughs> you said uh, about the, uh, whoever gets uh, Blighty, so do we even... Do we shoot the Sahu again, and then the Bloody McBlood features <laughs> in the face. Well, I, I guess Blighty would be a happy accident if they die. Yeah, you know, happy accident. But what if is... they're still alive, then at least humiliation will be in his few, in his cards. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Anyways, shall we load the cannons and shoot at some Sahu again? Mm, sure. Oh no, this is gonna be so. T this is gonna be a terrible idea, and I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it is. I know. So so what is the, what's the misfire on a cannon? Oddly enough, there are no misfires on cannons, at least as far as I can dig out on DD Beyond. <clears throat> Good. C mm. Cannons have no misfire. <laughs> Lol. Anyways. Uh, can I use my spell gun as litany on the cannon? Could you send me the wording on your spell gunners literally? Because <laughs> I can't remember it. I'm sending it now. Das will command everyone to help load cannons and shit. It's going to be glorious and there's going to be uh, that overture 12 or something. I think the only relevant thing would be the cannonball comes magic. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, so yes, <laughs> I shall be at the helm. Well, I say the helm, commanding when the cannonballs. Uh, okay, so not... you go full tech priest. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> I, I'm going for this. So as you start loading the cannon, for some reason, Epper starts like like going through the cannonballs and going like, no, 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 are you? You, you will be an amazing cannonball. You will do great things. He's got his own council of one. <laughs> yeah, it's basically... It, what it sounds like is muttering and the occasional bit of singing and uh, mas magical casting. But it's basically, hi, gun magic. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wizard who can use a gun. <laughs> this is his shtick. Yep. 
All right then. So whoever's gonna fire the cannon, roll for me, please, a d20 and add six. Uh, who's got the highest dex? Because I I do. I think I want to say Actually, I wait, do. Will Will dex make a difference? No, they make it is for it's a flat plus six. Cool, since it's got I've actually gotta fire the weapon for that to take place, I shall roll. And Yeah, me too. Yeah, go for it. I, I feel like fire I'm gonna the like get like a pair of goggles down for this. It's some madness is getting. Fire no! That's a no! ten. No! Oh no, no! that's one! No! No! <laughs> so, no! One kind of bad, one kind of worse. <laughs> Yes. Okay, I feel I I, I mean Rex, on the one hand we a dick save. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> well, okay. Epic, your cannon fire is just fine, like you just fire a shot that goes wide and you just see a whole chunk of the beach just disappear. There are other numbers! Oh god! Jesus Christ! No! There is other numbers than one in that freaking no! what, what is the DC on this? I was just giving it a DC 10. Oh, oh then I would have God. passed because it, you said D20 plus 6. Oh, no, no, no. The plus is to hit. I was meaning the reflex save. Okay. Like 30 oh. save. Literally. Oh, right. There are other like numbers than again. 1 in that die. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Why? <laughs> right. What was the DC of the shot? Um, I actually need to look up what the ACs were for the Sahurigan. Because oh you're kind of like hitting no. a group of them. <laughs> oh this is no. a weird thing. I'm having to like mix it up a bit. So it's kind of like combining sleep with the amount of damage you do. <coughs> I like just keep knocking down the Sahurigan until there's none left. Or <laughs> what else gets caught in the blast. <laughs> but guys, 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 guys. If you're going to fire a cannon... At least shoot it in the general direction of the target! Oh, shut up and help me load! <laughs> An episode <laughs> starts loading the cannon again. I will help load the cannon. <laughs> I Bye. want to know what uh, happened. Yeah, you would have missed the Sahuagans AC. Uh, right, so, in the meantime, uh, Rex, you take a wahooping. 19 points of damage. Holy oh, shit. A mix of thunder and piercing and bludgeoning damage, all from the cannon exploding. Oh okay. god, no! From the misfire. <laughs> oh my lord, no! <laughs> and there was. And the people just said that there is no misfire on that cannon. Yes, there is. And I did it. <laughs> god damn it, Rex! It, 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 it doesn't have like a misfire score. My parents like, yeah. the odds of you guys rolling a natural one on this would be horrific. Two natural ones would be an absolute disaster. We'll see what happens. And you have to go get the natural one, and then you have to that one on the deck save. Yes. Congratulations, you took half damage from a cannon. Yes. <laughs> I will... Okay. For, for the lols... I feel like maybe I could try rolling for cannon. There you go! That's how you roll a bloody. That's how you fire a bloody cannon! So, is that misfire cannon destroyed? Yes. So, now there is three cannons on the big claw. Oh, and oh, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Wrecked. Um, Heracon. Where creature lying on the deck. Wow. Right. So, two clean shots. Yeah. Okay then. So before we get too far, um, Das, first of all, go ahead and roll me 8d10. Hell yeah! Damn. Eat shit! You bloody <laughs> silver again! How many twos? I bloody know, hell. right? What's with the dice? <laughs> The, the average he's given me is like double that. What the heck? <laughs> oh so, the shot is good. I mean, really good. Sadly, it, you don't so much as like hit the group of Sahu again. You hit one that's at the back. And he. <laughs> the, the best way to put it, and sadly only the British will get this context bang, and the Sahu again is gone. 
Yes. Uh, well, I mean, that's one down. Many Aileen. more to go. Aileen. <laughs> Indeed. Aileen, go ahead and also roll me 8d10. Uh, how are you feeling, Rex, by the way? <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, Aileen! <laughs> well, to be honest, how feeling kind of bloodied. Yeah, we're just ignoring Rex bleeding out there because he did bad. That's his punishment. <laughs> Rex is uh, just gonna get up and uh, it's like <clears throat> I do have um, I need to take a lamp to the slaughter with the cannons <laughs> and goes to the next cannon and tries to No, 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 You are not touching any more than cannons. You have destroyed one in cannon. I am not letting you destroy another cannon. Cool. Uh, yes, I need to are you sure? You are um, all right then. So, Aileen, with your, your volley of cannon fire, the one ball flies out across the field. And you watch as several more Sahuigan are just turned into a fine mist, along with some of the crew that Blight Bike brought with him. Darn. Oh! Don't, oh don't no! Don't you looking out and acting as spotters or on deck and looking around. Um, Blight Bike like, stops midway through murdering one, shoots it with his pistol, looks over. And you can almost swear he's shouting who the hell is on the guns, but you can't tell. <laughs> but it's like a very cartoonish, like he's jumping in the air kind of thing from your distance. Is he, is he, is he doing the whole Yosemite Sam thing where mm. he's like, oh, he's just jumping up and down, like with his, waving his fists, like, ah, <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> yes! Cool. I would like to fire one of the cannons this time, but can I cast True Strike first? Yes, you may. Sweet. So I get advantage on. Um, an attack roll against a specific target. So what I want to do is I want to shoot a cannonball that will hit a Sahuagin after hitting Blight Bite. Oh, so you're ricocheting it, right? Oh no, I'm just going to shoot through Blight Bite. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and I have advantage. Go ahead and roll me a d20 plus 6 with advantage. Oh... Uh... If you want to roll it in roll 20, you're more than welcome to, because at least you can program those rolls. Um, if yeah, you're doing it in roll 20, uh, slash r 2d20 k1 plus 6. I think would be the command. Uh, boom. Hey, nice. I remember the command, that's impressive. Ooh. How?! How is am I only getting nines and threes? What the f frick? <sighs> uh, right, I need to find Blight by TC. <laughs> Blight by, <laughs> where have we gone? It's dead. That's it. End of story. I'm I was rolling with advantage, <laughs> and is. both of them are under ten. No! <laughs> well, I have some good news for Blight Bite. He survived? He missed. Um. You, you fire the cannon effort, it flies through. Still go ahead and roll for me the 8d10. Because he's intermingled with his own crew. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, the cannon, go, cannon goes off. But I'm like, you swear to every god of warfare that like you aim this at Blight Bite, but he moves at the last possible second and just gets blown back by the concussion. However, the rest of his crew is just annihilated. You're only supposed to blow the Sahugan up! And like, there's this, like, oh! from... From Blight Bite's perspective from the beach, like, it's D-Day for him. There's been cannon shells going off, his crew is wrecked. There's only a couple of Sahuigan left, so Blight Bite could probably take him, but right now it's, like, too much shell shock. 
grabs <coughs> what gears next to him and just starts bolting for the tower. Shit, what's the range of my gun? Um... The, the range on the cannon, uh, if you give me a moment. Oh, I was thinking my actual gun. Okay, I'm guessing this is more than 160 feet. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Cannon. I mean, he's still technically within range of the cannon. The cannon has a, mid a maximum range of 600 feet. Quick, someone shoot him! Okay, let me, let me just kill him! <laughs> let me just kill him! I, I, oh, wait, can I use True Strike on, a, on another person? I don't know if I can. I mean, he's still affected by your original True Strike. You just missed. Um, I believe True Strike's concentration. Five. Uh, no, it, it's, it only gives advantage against my first attack roll against the target. Ah. Oh. And it only affects me. I can't okay. do it for another person. Damn it! What is with the dice? What the fucking hell. It's almost like the DM doesn't want you to kill Blight by just yet. <laughs> he wants to save him for a more epic encounter if you guys are just cheesy guys <laughs> artillery at him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean we're just scaring him. Okay, but we still cut but we still can't find a way to get onto the beach and actually, um, and actually, you know, get onto uh, the land. I mean, there, there is are a the, way. Are the boats still intact? Ah! Right, lads, I have an idea on how to quickly get onto the land. And uh, Das is going to climb into one of the cannons. This is going to survive. No, no, no. no. Aileen, oh. you, can <laughs> Aileen, you can turn into, like, a swimming animal, yes? Are the no. boats still intact? The, oh, shit. This plan has fallen apart. The, very the rowing boats look intact from where you are. They might be a little bit um, damaged from, like, the pressure blasts. Oh, fuck. Another yeah. cannon shot misses, but like, by, by now has long since going to get out of your range and be at the safety of the tower walls. Fine! I will light the cannon to fire me across to the land! I'm going to use Mage Hand to remove remove the fuse. <laughs> as I was saying, Dance, this isn't Sea of Thieves, you will not survive being shot from a cannon. Oh shit! Oh, I thought I thought you said I will survive. Mm -mm. No. Oh, okay. You won't survive. You will die. Uh, uh, <laughs> at this Dash. point, at Dash this made... point, when Das actually tries to do this, <laughs> Rex is just looking uh, directly at the cannon, and he's like, you, you know "Well, what people say like yeah? describe your D and D character with a GIF." Mm -hmm. Das, Das in my mind now has two. It's either Captain <laughs> Jack Sparrow or Scrap from Ice Age. Yeah. There is no in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say... I've got to say, like, d we do need to remind Das sometimes that whilst they act like a cartoon character, they aren't actually a cartoon character. I know. <laughs> he has an intelligence of eight. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I no, mean... he doesn't! <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. So, have you actually taken the fuse out yet? Because Das is going to light it! Yes, yes, he yeah, has. Yeah, yeah, I have. I already <laughs> removed it with Mage Hand. It's just like, nope. It's like, <laughs> it's taking the hell away. You. Yeah, excuse you. But do you mind putting the fuse back into my cannon? <laughs> is that. Are you hitting on me right now? I mean, <laughs> I'm, I, mean, I, I mean, only if you buy me dinner first. Like Wiggles and his eyebrows. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. You are, uh, just <laughs> you... Maddie, don't jiggle, jiggle. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, <laughs> Evan's just going to throw the fuse in the ocean using Mage Hand. It's like drops it <laughs> in the porthole so it can't be used. <laughs> oh, God. How deep is the water if we jumped off the boat? It's deep enough for you guys to safely dive off the edge. Woohoo! Oh, oh, oh my gun! 
my gum puddle will get wet. I mean, oh. I mean, if there's a, wait a minute, is there any boxes on the ship that we could like, or like airtight boxes on the ship that we could just dump some gunpowder in so that the gunpowder stays dry while Epa's still swimming? Yes, although I don't think it's both complicating the matter. I I don't but, care. But what is it the would, life food for the box? Yeah, it would probably take like a uh, huge amount of time. Well, either way, like, would Rex be able to stand up in the water? No, Rex is still having to swim with it. Big glorious. <gasps> As you guys get closer, yes, so eventually like Rex will just be walking. All right, lads and lasses, we're probably going to have to swim for it if we're going to catch old Blighty. And okay. deal with the remaining so who we've gone on the beach because, yeah, that's a bloody mess there. Oh, that'll be yeah. fine. Yeah, I know. Well then. Uh. I'll be fine. You'll be all right. Yeah, I mean, there's probably some magical spell you have that dries the gunpowder, right? No. Vegetation. Yeah, I, I don't have prestidigitation. I fix I things. I do. Oh my god, marry me. I mean, sorry. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I have a romance going on here. <laughs> An inter-party romance. <laughs> so this is probably heading off to the direction that we do actually have to have another in-party wedding. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah. And I can marry people on my ship because technically he can. <laughs> God damn it. So, okay, well, we'll conduct the wedding after we get all blighty. Oh, all right, let's go. Oh. Yes. Dive into the water. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, he'll cannonball in there. You know what? I'm going to make an acrobatics check just to see whether he face plants into the water. Go for it. Cannonball! That's a twenty-two. <laughs> <coughs> just, just off to the side of frame, you see a couple of fish sitting there watching this, and then they just pull out signs. Then three of them are holding <laughs> up nines. One of them is holding up a ten. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I start swimming to the shore. Swim, 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 mini swim. I don't right. know if I can swim. I don't actually know if I have... Go, go ahead and make an athletics check for, for your swim. Oh yeah, shit. I, I should make an athletics check for my swim, too. Right, you should. Last time you did this, it didn't go so well. <sighs> oh, Let's see what happens. happens. Yes, there is other numbers, but what? <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, Rex. We, we need to get you better dice. You need help. Yes. Oh God! So oh, do I apparently. Am I, I going to have to be the lifeguard? Am I going to have to do the whole Baywatch thing? <laughs> like, am I going to have to rip off my like pirate's jacket with like the red shorts and that with still wearing the pirate's hat, by the way, and just save everyone from the ocean? Because I feel like that's what Das is going to have to do. Mm-hmm. What well, I... you want to make me? You want me to do that now for your model on Hero Forge? Yes, it's a please. Baywatch variant. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, see, there's just like the moments during the swim where, because inevitably Das is giving everyone shit for not being able to swim, the Emperor's just like, I! Glug, 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 glug. Rude! Box! I don't! Swim! <laughs> and there are moments where it's just his straw hat on the surface. Yeah, you just gotta see him like surface without the hat on, <laughs> scramble back for the hat, and get back to swimming. <laughs> Makes it a far more drawn out process than it reasonably needs to be. Yes, it's, it's certainly story. that way. You, those of <laughs> those of you that just roll under a ten, it's a struggle to swim. 
The only two that don't struggle is Das and uh, Tink. Yeah, Tink, completely enough. But mostly because Tink is aquatic by nature. That, that's I like that. Tink doesn't help yeah. anyone. <laughs> I can imagine Das just diving in and out of the water like a dolphin. But it's... <laughs> Wee! And, Wee! and yes. his Rex just um, dipping his toe in casually. Doesn't want to get his fur wet. <laughs> oh no. Just good spin, like, right? I was gonna say, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, you're all in there. It's just like three of you are struggling to swim in deep sea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you just get pushed by the waves every now and again. So you think, this is fine, this is fine. Oh, there's a swell. Oh no, I'm going over. <laughs> fine, I'll try and rescue Epper. Because, you know, co kobolds. <laughs> no, I, I will. I can, I'm sure, because Tink yeah, can just I, dive in. <laughs> literally, no tink, problem. Tink is no problem with water. Yeah. Oh. The rest of you kind of need to breathe air. Tink can just be like, eh. It, like, it has an interesting I'm, aftertaste. I'm, I'm, I'm just diving in and out of the water like a dolphin. He's a wee! <coughs> I it don't know how he's water breathing. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, yes. dear, dear. And on here I need some... Do I... Ah, did I not put them in? Uh, I mucked up. How dare you muck up! I forgot to put on a couple of tokens, that's all. <gasps> that's all, I just forgot a couple of tokens. How can I actually, being that I have different dice sets, how can I modify them in uh, Beyond 20? I mean, uh, uh, D &D in D&D Beyond. D &D Beyond. Uh, yeah. If you look under my collections, you've got my dice. Mm, where is the my collection? Uh, up along the top bar, so you got the D and D Beyond search bar, and underneath that you have collections, game rules. Oh, collections, yeah. Yeah. There we go. My dice, and then in there is all the dice you have. And those dice are really going to change. <laughs> well, I've changed my dice for the um, the clockwork dice. All right. So, I need to bring you guys onto this bit. Woo I need to change the music to something a bit more appropriate. Log yes. Bali's Seven Deadly Sins. Ooh, that, that <laughs> is a great song. Close, just more stream appropriate music. Mm -hmm. It's sea shanty ish. All right, then. You guys managed to make it onto the shore. That's yes. Really well. uh, before you is the battlefield, I assumed you guys weren't going to use the cannons on the big claw, otherwise I would have built a map with the battlefield in it. Mm. But all <laughs> well, that remains are three Sahuigan. Wait, where's the third? I can only see two. I need to get the third. Oh, okay. There we go. I also need to refresh right. the page as well, because I broke it again. Oh. Sadly, my left mouse button is, like, really twitchy today. For some reason, it's just I double-click on everything. Oh, yeah. Why that is, I don't know, but it likes doing it. Anyway, so, yeah, as, as you guys eventually make your way onto the shore, there's only a, a few Sir Hubigan left. One of them stands out as being more like their leader, in a way. Um, he actually carries a sp uh, spear in one hand, and over his back you can see there's like a fishing rod slung over the back. A fishing rod? Yes. Nice. The overwhelming uh, temptation to parlay is... Uh... Are they hostile? They don't seem hostile right now. I mean, you guys swim up on shore, but they're too busy, like, g pulling their dead together. I try to sort out what's left of the the land dwellers. But as you will eventually make it, the uh, middle one steps forward. 
Oh, shit, shit. Try my gunpowder. Try my gunpowder. <laughs> uh, and like doesn't like hold his spear aggressively but holds it a bit defensively and then starts speaking to you but it's like that gurgled murloc noise and none of you can understand him no um i don't i'm not really sure what you're trying to say but uh we're we're, we're not really um i don't think any of us can speak fish or whatever language you speak I don't know. Uh, uh, I'd say tinkwood, wouldn't they? I mean, I mean, blue. Would you be able to? Assuming so. Kind in a way, yes, but uh, it's actually all right. Languages: Aquan, Common, Deep Speech, Draconic, and Elvish. Yeah, it's like a subset of Aquan. It's a bit weird. Like you're catching it for like third and fifth letter almost. All sort right. of a bit like Welsh, so kind it's of, English, yeah. but yeah. Alright. Uh, <laughs> is there a stick nearby? There, there's a few splinters where people got blown to pieces, yeah. Alright, I will get one of the longer splinters and I will and I will draw in the sand um a picture that signifies that we are like we like we won't harm them i mean we could just try speaking in aquan i mean we could i mean i mean you could try speaking in aquan as i draw this you know you know simultaneous mm -hmm. sort of thing yeah so i will start drawing yeah, I will start drawing pictures in the sand in the hopes that they kind of understand where the fuck I'm going with this. Saying that, though, interpretive dance. Tink, please. <laughs> Save us. <laughs> and I'll just put a little smile here. So, think. so think what, what do you say to them? Uh, what am I trying to translate to them? Tell them that we tell them that we won't hurt them if they decide if they decide to work with us to find the bastard on the bar like you know the bastard that went into the tower. <laughs> Either that, okay, or I'll, maybe I'll just to figure to out them. what they're saying. Um, oh, there, can you speak, Aquan? Uh, the two at the back look at each other and then look to the first one at the front, and he coughs and it's like, uh, in Aquan, I can speak it. Vocabulary limited. Uh,. Okay, can you tell the uh, can you tell me what you were saying previously? What the others were saying previously. We were wondering, friend or foe. We are friendly if you would like to help. Uh, if you help, any like gestures to. The massacre around them uh, help us tidy. Let's not spoil the meat. No, no, of course. Um, we're just trying to do a job for oh, this one, and I'll point at, at um, Daz. He's just drawing in the sand. <laughs> Like, and I'll pull a little flower here, and maybe a butterfly, you know, going towards flower. Uh, <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's briefly he's distracted by your drawing, and even, like, comes along and, like, squats down, and, like, even, like, draws in a little bit of sunshine for you. Oh, That's so cute! He looks at, looks at you and just says, in Aquan, something you don't understand, but think you read it, you can hear it as... Forgot the 
sun. <laughs> oh! Oh! <coughs> Thank you! I, I was wondering what was missing from this, and you, I am so glad for your insight. Uh, you can translate that, can you? Like, he looks back at Tink. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll say it to them. Hey, like translating what they've written. Or Drew, even. Yeah, Drew. <laughs> um, like he, he reaches into one of his pouches and like fit, um, fiddles through it, and he offers you a hand. Uh, what, like a literal a dismembered literal hand? A hand that's still warm to the touch. Is it of one of the Sahuigan or one of the crew that got absolutely it's, it's a annoyed? Hand. It's one of the it's one of the crew that Das had. I will shake the human hand. <laughs> like, uh, as well, you I shake think... it, it's like no, no, no. Like he gestures, eat. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. Hmm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, uh, we could and cook it. it first, and then eat it. Raw meat gives terrible indigestion. He, he looks at you and, like, realises it. it you, you, whilst you accept the gift, you're not going to eat it just yet, but he taps you on the head. Aww, I want him to be our new pet, and so he can come along with us on adventures now. I'm, like, for... Why yes. does this end always like this? <laughs> He's a sentient humanoid being. He's not a pet. <laughs> I mean, I've adopted I think it more as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know where she got killed in the first volley. <laughs> but no, he had to be the special one that had to die last. God damn it. Anyway. He, so he goes back to clearing want? up the battlefield and making sure, like, you can clearly see they're keeping Sahuigan parts away from other parts. Other parts are getting put into a pile for later sorting. Sahuigan parts are being put away to be buried. So, what did they say, Tink? Um, what did they say? Um, they, they, he will happily help you with what you need done, just give him a hand first with yeah. This mess. Yeah, well, we've got to help them as well. Tip for tat. Um, but if we can do theirs first, just help out with some cleaning. May use prestidigitation to make the job a little easier. I mean, it would certainly clean them up. It wouldn't get rid of them. No, but just to like consolidate and clean and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> I, you certainly can. I mean, with all of you here, it wouldn't take all that long. Five yeah. minutes at most. Yeah. Epa makes sure to, like, get any useful stuff off the humanoid bodies rather oh. than the Sahagan bodies and s just sort of pile that on the rock. Because, <laughs> you know, I they might to, have I need to cool roll stuff. I think for that, then. Give me a second. <laughs> just make uh, sure you get lucky. Gorgeous, George, even, Aileen. Oh, my. That was nearly 100. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just so you know, the, the dice of ice cream, it, uh, the hundreds were a zero, and I can see a zero, and it's not far off. <coughs> um, oh, my giddy aunt. Sadly, though, you do not find anything of use on the... Uh, the um, non sahuic bodies. A couple of them that were were dragonborn, like they were wearing um, like more studded leather armor, but like it's now scraps. Oh, shattered. I could have used some studded leather armor. Wait, do I have some studded leather armor? I feel like I have. But yeah, there, a lot of it's just like bits. <coughs> or even like you pull out one, like you could almost make it like a little jigsaw for yourself if you had time. Of like, okay, I've got to cut this hilt, 
there's bits of the blade, there's more bits of the blade, that's the tip. I'm now missing the spine. It's like the most annoying jigsaw. Um, but yeah, after a few minutes though, you guys managed to cover it all up. Um, your Sir Hooligan ally is just called mm -hmm. Fisher. <gasps> Jeremy Fisher! No, just Fisher. Oh, okay, I will name him Jeremy. <clears throat> I will call him Jeremy. So, right then, Jeremy. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> so why does he call people the wrong names? <clears throat> Gives you a funny look. And the, the only common that you guys can actually make out is his name. Fisher. Fishy. Right, okay, fishy. Fisher. Gotcha. You fishy, 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 fishy. No, oh, no. <laughs> right. Right then, Salmon. How about... <laughs> oh my god, no, no, no. Pink, please. <laughs> even, even as you say it, like, he registers like the name is completely different. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> Looks at all of you, pointing at Das. It's like, does it always do this? <laughs> Mm, yeah, and we have uh, theories why. <laughs> oh, it's message in a in a language or? I think message has to be in a language it knows. Ah, oh, damn! Yes, it does. Oh well. Oh well. Right then. Find out where he where. <coughs> where the idiot's that enemy went. Just so we can stop embarrassing ourselves. Uh, you know where... And then I'll like, give it a description. When? <laughs> uh, he replies back to in Aquan. Follow that. And he points to like the, um, the Santa Prince that weren't caught in the blast and they lead off uh, to the southwest past the ruined tree that's on that map <gasps> and then further on towards Lilith's tower itself which I need to prepare for you all now <laughs> I would love to give Fisher here a stone with a hole in the centre as a token of our gratitude and I do have that in my uh, possessions A what, sorry? A stone. A small stone with a hole in the centre. When did I give you that? That's part of the uh, sailor back... No, that's part of the sailor background. Ah. Uh, that'd be why I'm so confused. And like, when the heck did you pick that up? I always had it. I, I also <coughs> that's for a long, long lonely night at sea. Like Long. <laughs> Bit oh, rough wow. around the edges for that. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. It's, a, it's a small thing, but it irritates me that <laughs> drives me. Who said? Go. On. Just who? Who has prestige irritation, by the way? I think it's Aileen. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I've been I've been answering questions this whole time. Oh, I mean, right. very low, very. It's a little quiet. In and yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have to start to yeah. Yeah. Uh, could, could you dry my gunpowder, please? And Epa just sort of gets out his ammo bag. <laughs> Thank you. I, I might need to ask you to teach me that spell at some point. I really should know it. It's going to be very useful, I think. Alrighty then. So, after a few... Um, about half an hour's worth of travel, um, you can see this clearly on this island. There was clearly once a pathway that led towards the base of the tower. And mm -hmm. it's been overgrown... Um, destroyed by the upheaval of the land bridge being destroyed and so on and so forth until eventually you do come 
to the base of an old tower on this island. Uh, the main building itself sits about five floors high. You can see it's got a domed roof at the top. And at its base are two outcropping wings. Uh, oh, not wings, but like... Yeah, yeah, they are wings, but they're like ground floor. And the rest of the structure, you can swear it's meant to look like... Almost like a dragon in sit, with like her rear legs um, sort of supporting her full weight. And obviously at one point there were clearly um, arms outstretched on either side, but they have since fallen off due to the ravages of time. And they have become large rock balls <coughs> either side. Oh boy. So. Well then. Who would like to go first? As captain of this merry crew, I feel it is my solemn duty to uh, make sure that there are clearly no traps, and clearly nothing that could possibly kill us when we try to find Blighty. Because as we all know, Das knows a thing or two about a thing or two about old Blighty. So it kind of makes sense. Anyways. Go ahead. Set off the trip wire. We'll catch you when you fly out the door. Alright, I will see. Oh. I will try and detect traps. Nice. Thank you. Welcome to yeah, I will try and uh, look for traps. A perception check? Uh, yes, be so kind. I could uh, try to look for traps as well. You Are can, you going you to can give it, I was going to say you can give um, that advantage if you want. Mm, I would rather roll it myself. Oh, thanks! You know, <laughs> but after, after how Das has treated you like one of his own, like his own brother... Yeah, but you left me bleeding out on the deck, <laughs> so... That was punishment for your incompetence! Hey, you know what? You both, hey, you both get guidance, how's that? Yeah, <laughs> I, I will work. accept this. I will accept this. This is fine. I will okay. use my guidance. And I will use my guidance as so well. that will be a 14. <clears throat> okay. Um, the question is, oh, but oh, nice. Hey, would, it, would you like to add uh, your default to that? Yes. <coughs> well, now it starts to be looking like more like. <laughs> You changed your dice, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. That's the two if you look over this door. There is clearly no traps, although you can see signs around the area that, like, um, several boxes and crates of equipment have been moved inside to where it's safe. Rex, though, mm. with your very high 23, mm -hmm. you can hear on the other side of the door the sound of a very angry kobold barking orders. All right. And they seem to be the sounds of almost like hurry up and get the doors unlocked. Um, actually, if this was perception check for hearing... It's also an advantage. I was taken with the advantage as well. So it'd be a 25. Yes. Again, you can hear him quite clearly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Get the doors open. <laughs> Rex just points. He's there. <laughs> oh boy. And he seems pissed. As he should be. 
Anyways. So. I will. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I will gladly. Uh, I will gladly beat the absolute dummy. I mean, what? Um, okay. So. I will. Try and open the door as quietly as I can. And hopefully not uh, let uh, Blum and Blight Blighty know that uh, uh, we, we, we be coming along and to wreck his Rex, shit. And Rex is going to help you with it. I was going to say, before you Can get too far with these doors, I will warn you now that they are old and made out of metal. I do we have any oil? Do us? I need to roll for stealth? <clears throat> uh, if you're helping Das, Das gets advantage. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can I druid craft some sort of oil for those hinges? No, there's not. A lot. Twenty-one. Nice. There's not a lot of oil secreting plants. However, Das got a twenty-one. So, Das, you open the door sneakily and quietly. Excellent. And the doors are heavy, by the way. Like I said, they are made out of metal. And inside, this is what you can see. It is a large oh. open chamber. Four almost greenish um, jade marble pillars stand around what looks like a fighting pit that has been sunk into the room. Um, around that, the walls themselves are quite plain. Aside from the far wall across from you, which is um, decorated with murals and descriptions of battles long past, mo notably like more the heroic kind. Sort of, you know, the, the one man, 300 kind of thing. Mm. Almost as if um, gratifying the strength it takes to stand on one's own. Uh, the ceiling itself in this room, uh, around the fighting pit, it is an, there is a solid ceiling, ceiling that is 15 feet high, except for around the fighting pit where it is hollow, and above you can see up through several more floors to a chandelier. Nice. And flanking either side of you, at two other points in the room, you can see two sets of two guys trying to rip some doors off the hinges and Blight Bite is just barking orders at one and then barking orders at another. I will turn to the others and go <coughs> and describe exactly what you just described. I think that I think that fighting pit in the middle was just destined to be where Blighty and I would fight to see who is the most superior captain. Well, then challenge him. That that goes by message, because I'm not shouting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait for the opportune moment for Blight Bite to say something that Das can easily sort of time it perfectly and go, "Ha ha, tis I," sort of thing. Or, or something witty and something awesome. <laughs> okay, and you sit there and wait, and eventually Blight Boy gets to the point of Oh, for goodness sake. The other one will be just as useful right now. Um, so what did you just say? Uh, the, the other the one will be just as useful right now. At that point, <laughs> I mean... I feel like we're just going in without a plan. Uh, the other one would be useful right now. Yeah, okay, as soon as he uh, said... I'll allow the others to sort yeah. themselves out by the door if they yeah. wish. Okay, yeah, I'll... Yeah, sort yourselves out by the door. And then I will be like... Wait, uh, shit, I'm not, I'm not yeah. playing a tank in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's the funny thing, isn't it? That when you play a tank for so long, you think, yeah, I'll just front like, oh, wait. Currently playing two ranged characters in my weekly games and what, what one tank in my, in my fortnightly game. 
And yet I still position myself like a tank. Because I had to do that as a sorcerer. <coughs> and that's not fun. <laughs> mm. uh. right, I need to move the, the Sahuigan buddy closer. <gasps> Sahuigan buddy! God, I realise Fish is okay. in here and Fish rocks up the whole encounter balance. Oh. What have I done? We made a friend! We made a fisherman's friend. God damn it. <laughs> Surely that would like provide disadvantage on a stealth, stealth roll, having that much menthol. Yeah. <laughs> Pain. Pain for the final encounter. Mm. I mean... I only have 18 health. I'm going to die when this happens. <laughs> it's fine. Um, you will have levels by then. You may have more hit points. I just need to make sure someone has a healing spell. <laughs> before we, all right, I, before okay. we go in, I'm going to make some good berries and distribute them. All right. Hell yeah. I'll get two. So we are fully... But we are fully nourished, and I guess we heal one hit point. Yeah. Put your so it gives one hit point. Oh, well, that's just that forge. So what forge? Sorry. He wants access to the forge. I I'm, I'm waiting for Wait. you to make your dramatic entrance. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was waiting for everyone else to make sure that they're ready with their shit. I have a gun with dubiously dry powder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to cast True Strike for um, big, uh, not big four, because that's our that, that, that's our kobold for um, <laughs> for the for, um, for blight bite. Thank you for blight bite. And I'm just going to hold, uh, like, as soon as I see Das moving, that's what I'm going to cast. So I've got that active for the first round. Cool. Anybody else? I'm going to have a guiding bolt prepped. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's see. I'm just waiting for another witty thing from um, for another thing from oh, Brian. I'm, so it could be like on forge. You go find a way of working forge into this. Okay. Okay. Is it? Um, he wants access to the forge. Okay. Quench your temper. <laughs> and steal oh, yourself yeah. for a dramatic demise. <laughs> You're welcome to take that. <laughs> I mean... Okay, so what was that? Temper your... Um, quench your temper and steal yourself for a dramatic demise. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, if everyone else is ready and got something prepared, Pink, what about you? Uh, Rex will... Uh, what he is going to do... He is uh, going to uh, do the Crimson Rites. Okay. And, so he's going to uh, wear bunny. Uh, no. <gasps> Actually, he is going to turn into a wear bunny and then uh, cast Crimson Rites, uh, Crimson Rites, which basically means that he is going to slash himself with a little... Uh, do a little... Cut with one. I think it was one HP or uh, it's well, one D four damage. Yeah, it's listed on the thing. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. <coughs> yeah. So. One thing is Rex. One D four. Oh, okay, the three damage. damage yes, and 
will be uh, preparing to amplify amplified blood curse of binding. Ooh. Ooh. Very fancy. All right, then. In which case, then, boys and girls. If well, I was going to say, what about Tink? If what is yeah. Tink going to do? I was going to say, what is Tink doing? That is a good point. Chrissy, what are you doing? Coney on mute. She may be AFK. <gasps> no. Mm, might be. Okay. Sorry, no, no, no. I'm not on mute. Okay. I've been speak I have been speaking because I was gonna say I we, I said I was I was speaking and then Lero started speaking. So you asked what Tink was gonna do and then Okay, okay. So yeah, <laughs> go for it. Go for it, Tink. Speak your plans. Well no, nothing there's nothing that I can do really apart from get my um ready. Get your trident ready. Okay, that'll get do. Get trident ready. That's fine. If there's actually anything that I can Okay set up. All right. On strike. Da, 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 da. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Anymore so up? yeah. No, like. No, no, oh. No. Okay. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm just looking okay. to see so, if there's what, anything. Yeah. So blight bite says a line about something to do with the forge or whatever. Mhm. Mm and Das is then going to kick the door, and goes. Then quench your no quench your t quench your temper. And steal yourself for a dramatic demise. Hello, Blighty. It's been a while, hasn't it? Give me a second, we're just rolling initiatives. Oh, we should roll initiatives too. That is true. I feel like we should roll initiatives. Rolling initiatives. Oh, will that be for next week? I rolled over. I rolled a, a number that wasn't less than ten. Woo! It's a ten, but I no. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like that the beyond twenty has broken so much that it doesn't actually register half the people's turns. Oh no! Oh dear, dear. <coughs> but that's fine because here's here's the thing. We're going to pick this up next week. Because otherwise, yes. this oh, will yeah. be a lengthy combat. Yeah. I, I believe so. I got my initiative is at zero. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> it could have been much, much worse. Yeah. I mean, his, yours is at 11, Netta, but still. Yeah. I, I can't wait for... Uh, the Blum and Blight Bites reaction to be like, oh, I thought you died. Well, I've died, but then I lived. <laughs> I'm expecting more of a, oh, of course it was you. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, of course it was you. Yes, well, I died, but then I lived. <laughs> <laughs> I fought a giant crab. It was great. <laughs> went through hell to get back here, damn it! Yeah, I went through hell and blighted forests and corrupt mares to get here. So, let's see. alien cut and pass, blight bite, and uh, <coughs> my four bandits, Rex and Tink. Yes. Excellent. So yeah, as as you storm through the door, I don't think I see. Looks over and goes, Ugh. I saw your eyes. Well, I died. But then I lived! <laughs> Just with the claw hands. <laughs> <laughs> and like, with the, like, with the worst slouched in pre like, pose ever, you hear the click of the pistol. Got a bonnet with your other bonnet. And that's the end of tonight's session. Ah! I was gonna say, and I, and I got a sword, and I got a sword that'll carve my name onto yours. No, uh, my name onto your body. It's gonna be great. God, is that? <laughs> it's gonna end this encounter. I might say there were contrasts and just go pull out enough and just go bright dash. And... Yeah, das was here, <laughs> and and the E's gonna be the wrong way round. Oh God. <laughs> no, no. 
Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed tonight's madness. <laughs> yes. Gosh, yes. I wasn't expecting you guys to see the bloody cannons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. No. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. Like, I, I planned encounters on the ship because I thought, oh, maybe you guys will attack by by on the ship. <clears throat> or what have you. Or yeah. I, I even had a random encounter that flight by and the, and the crew would have to deal with. So yeah. I was actually going to give you guys, like, here's a bandit sheet. Here's the encounter. Off we go. Mm. But, you know, that was not a random chance. That never happened. Lol. Obviously, I was expecting them to find us. <laughs> well, no, because you guys rolled really well on your stealth, and they weren't actively looking for you. Oh, is this a surprise round in that case? Or are they not surprised because I kicked the door down? I'm going to say the the bandits are surprised, although they're pirates technically, but yeah. same stat card anyway. Um, like, they are surprised, Blight Bite is not. Roll! Although it could be fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious to see how this fight goes. I also need to put in the Zahuigan buddy. Yay! Zahuigan buddy! Oh, I can feel who, that. Who is named Jeremy and I don't care. Mm hmm. Because you put a lot, because you put the name as Fisher and I thought Jeremy Fisher, so that's what I'm gonna call him. I am so desperate to find out what D and D's equivalent of a therapist is. <laughs> um, like, you got be, like, hello, welcome magic. to Virgin Master Therapy. How can I help you today? <laughs> well, yeah, the Dungeon Master Therapy in TikTok is actually a great. <laughs> that that is D and D therapy. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking like, well, you got magic. It's like, is there something with magic that you can use to help address like? Das. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. There is nothing oh that can my help address God, Das. Oh really? Oh? <laughs> He's older too. He's going last. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I hope you're all happy. I'm, I'm slightly worried, but at the same time, I feel this will have hilarious consequences. I'm sure it will. <laughs> no. Oh, it's yeah. in the well. Das is in denial of a therapist. He don't need no therapist. He 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 just doesn't need a therapist. He's fine. Yeah. He's absolutely fine. He's sound of mind. It's great. As is Das one, Das two, Das three, Das four, Das five, and sword. <laughs> sword. Yes. Uh, like I can, I can imagine the therapy sessions going as the following. Like the therapist will ask him a question, and then Das will like start asking the question, and then he'll have his cancel of one, completely ignoring the therapist, and the pe therapist trying to get a word in, but he's just still talking, and it's just like, and and in the end they're just observing his like they're just taking notes. <laughs> Weirdly, I do have a plus five on. On uh, on medicine, add pl sorry no sorry plus two on medicine, and plus seven on arcana. Yeah, that could work for sort of like magical therapy, right? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, projecting so the they just show the you lots of pictures. <laughs> they show you like the ink ink block thing, and Daz just goes, "My ship, my ship." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, that is Das's problem. <laughs> Everything is a Sounds shame. like a Das problem. Oh, oh well. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're going to uh, call it a night there. I need to actually yeah. see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> My brain uh, is slowly melting into what, what just transpired. I'm trying to coax it and it's not working. Oh, yes, um, I gave him cannons. <laughs> One of them nearly died. <laughs> I only gave you half oh. the damage as opposed to four eight d ten. 
<laughs> Good night, everybody. Stay safe. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.